The store employee who shot and killed an armed robbery suspect in Rock Island last night tells TV6 why he pulled the trigger. It happened at Blackhawks Tobacco and Vape, where a clerk opened fire after three robbery suspects entered the store. TV6's Evan Denton spoke with that clerk and is here now with his story. Evan? Sharon and David, Rock Island police say the three suspects were wearing a mask and one of them had a gun. As they threatened employees and demanded merchandise, the clerk who decided he had to open fire tells me it was a terrifying experience. So just more thinking about like trying to stay, stay calm, stay still, because they had the gun right in our faces. A Blackhawks tobacco and vape employee who asked to remain anonymous said Tuesday night was the first time he has encountered armed robbery inside the store. This man looked me in the eyes and said, you have, you have kids at home, you have a family at home. I do, I want to go home. Do you want to go home tonight? And that was it. And then as they were exiting the store, I saw him point the firearm towards a customer that was pulling up, and that's when I emptied the magazine into him. The employee who shot the gun says there were two other staff members working. None of them were harmed. You know, we're just a little shaken up right now trying to process everything. You know, nobody wants to see anybody lose their life. Nobody wants to see anybody get hurt. But people made their, their choices yesterday, and it ended up being what it is. The employee who shot the gun has since quit his job. I almost died twice yesterday, man, with the gun in my face, and I could have gone to prison and just lost my whole life. So I just put an end to it, told him I was done, and it is what it is. The Rock Island Police said the state's attorney, Dora Villarreal, will release a statement after she reviews the employee's use of deadly force against the armed robbery suspects. All right, thanks, Evan. The third suspect is still at large, so if you have any information about the case, contact Rock Island Police or Crime Stoppers. We've got both of the numbers there on the screen now, and they're also listed on our news app and website.